but is it all about economic expectation when it comes to currencies or is there something underlying that we're just not seeing? I think there's, it, it's a bit more than just the economic expectation. So the first thing to say is we know that chart's wrong. We know that chart's wrong because data is wrong and it's revised all the time and the surprise indices don't pick up on this. At least UBS does a surprise index, which does, but generally surprise indices do not. So what we're actually seeing is the US is doing better than that chart indicates. Um, but where the US still has a problem is the start of this year, the dollar was overvalued on any fundamental analysis. The, the elastic had stretched too much and so therefore you know, it's natural we get some kind of snapback. And then international investors tend not to understand US politics as well as US investors do. And there's an awful lot of politics coming out on the Trump Twitter feed. And the result is I think you're getting an overreaction from international investors, which is then reflected in the currency because that's where they have most power. But are you telling me, this is breaking news, are you telling me that currency traders actually watch Trump tweets? Um, I'm sure that they saying. do. I, I'm sure that they do. Uh, you know, NI Trump tweet, it's a function on Bloomberg, for goodness sake. It's, it certainly is. Kit? Uh, they definitely follow Trump tweets. Look, if you wind back the last six months um, from where we are, we started the year where all the political risk was in Europe. I mean, Europe had weak growth just beginning to turn around, um, was, was still progressing with massively accommodative monetary policies, and we had huge uncertainty uh, after the... US election about how European politics would pan out. Wind the clock on, we're talking about normalization of policy at the ECB, we're talking about the Fed going um, even slower than people thought they might be going and, and not a new story, range-bound bond yields, and we're just looking at, at Trump tweets. We've got the political risk has completely flipped. So you've got a perfect storm uh, to, to hurt people who are uh, bearish of the euro and bullish of the dollar.